All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Houston Rockets Daily. Hope you guys are all having a great day. Hope you all had a good Memorial Day weekend. Apologize for no video yesterday. Had a very last minute golf ball and work trip. Work trip. Business trip, I guess we could call it. So we have Kyrie Irving news. And basically, you know, especially if you've been watching my videos on this channel or my main channel, you know my thoughts on the Brooklyn Nets. They're toast. They're toast. They were toast with James Harden. And then you go out and you get, I'm so sorry because I love Ben Simmons and I am hoping he figures it out, but a loser. Um, you know, I, I don't know the whole situation, so I guess that's a little unwarranted, but he's not a winner. Um, I have yet to see him really possess winner traits. The, the Nets are effed, bro. Let's be real here. Let's just be real here. So... Some way, somehow, we have a tweet here from Ryan Ward, LA. And uh, shout out my boy Balin, shout out my boy Matt Vento, Wat Wento, and Waylon. If you guys want to join the Discord, go ahead, drop it. It's uh, down below in the bio. We talk sports, rockets, basketball, baseball, anime, chess, the whole nine yards. So here's the tweet Odds have also surfaced on potential Kyrie Irving destinations if he doesn't stay in Brooklyn. A few interesting ones, including the Lakers and Clippers, via Sports Betting AG. Kyrie Irving next team, plus 150 Clippers, plus 275 Rockets. What? <laughs> plus 300 Pelicans, plus 700 Lakers, plus 900 Bulls. Oh, shit, I'd take that. Plus 900 Heat, plus 1,000 Mavs, plus 1,200 Knicks. And I just real quick, I think it's hilarious that the... I It's probably because his name, what was it, Ryan Ward, LA. It's probably because I assume he's an LA beat writer. Um, but the surprising ones are the Clippers and the Lakers. The two teams in the biggest market in the entire... United States of America? Huh? I don't agree with that statement. I think it's really funny how they're surprising because it's like, what? We've been talking about that for a while now. LeBron and Kyrie rejoining, which I think would be perfect for both of them. But uh, shout out to Matt Vento. We have the updated ones here. Plus 125 Clippers, plus 300 Rockets. So, you know, as, as a lot of people in my Discord were saying, the idea... and. I don't want to get too ahead of myself saying the Rockets are going to go ahead and draft Paolo Banchero, but just for hypothetical, for the video's sake, for argument's sake, let's say the Rockets do draft Paolo, or even, like, honestly, even Chet at number three. Let's say they draft any freaking player. It could even be Keegan. It could even be Keegan. But for argument's sake, let's say any player in the top five other than, like, Shade on Sharp or Jaden Ivey because, um, just positional, based because of Kyrie Irving. So Kyrie Irving, Jalen Green, and Paolo Banchero, that's a deadly trio. And there's one thing I've been talking a lot about all season here is just be patient with Houston. Raphael Stone is not an idiot. He actually is probably a genius. Like this, I mean, he's got a big ass head. He's got a lot of brain power he's storing in there. So the Houston Rockets will be competitive. They're going to be a lot more competitive next season, but I guarantee you two years from now, once Wall, Gordon, Wood are all off the books, you know, hopefully they get some value back for any of those three players. It seems like a lot of Rocket Nation is hoping that Christian Wood gets traded here this offseason during the draft or just at some point in the next three to four months, I would say. The Rockets will be competitive. Um... Kyrie Irving, you know, whether or not you agree with, you know, his his vaccine or mask or who gives a damn about politics on this channel, I swear to you, if I see some politic crap down below in the comment section, I will be internally, I don't want to use the word judging, but I mean, it, this is, a, we're talking basketball here. Kyrie Irving is a really interesting player, though. He's a very interesting player. But the best part about Kyrie Irving is, to me, he's a freaking beast bro i mean he's a goddamn beast and you know whatever happened once he left cleveland you know the whole boston experiment was pretty pretty much a disaster um boston's ruthless though you know celtics fans are ruthless and celtics fans would agree with that statement boston sports fans they're very passionate they're very diehard as you know a lot of teams are but they're you know bigger market they have a very historic legendary <clears throat> whoa they have a very like kind of historic you know they've won 
what is it, 19, 17 final, something like that. So, you know, their basketball fans especially are very diehard. <laughs> what is going on, bro? <sighs> I'm so sorry. I need to hire an editor one day. One of these days we'll make it happen. But anyways, Kyrie Irving still can hoop. And we really only saw Kyrie for like half a season this past year. I have to fight this bad, bro. I don't know what is going on. I don't have any water nearby. <clears throat> oh my God, dude. Is this the end of the video? What is going on? I'm crying. I really want Kyrie Irving on the Rockets, bro. I just think he does so much better. <laughs> it's sad. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> The point of this video is that Kyrie Irving some way, somehow has a chance to join the Houston Rockets. And I'm, as you can tell, thrilled. I'm ecstatic about it. And I want to hear your guys' comments down below in the comment section. So before I die here of trying to not cough, hit the like button, hit that sub button. But most importantly, drop a comment down below about Kyrie Irving. And we will revisit this video at a later date. Because I just really want him in Houston, bro. <laughs> He's up, I don't know, I'm sorry.